Hey guys, welcome to the Toolbox Tour. This is my Snap-on Carroll 722. I'm a Honda automotive technician. Haven't been in the trade for too long, but I got this box in a good deal, so I have it now. Uh, start at the top, I got uh, my two impact sockets for taking off wheels, 19 to 22. Got the 3 8 Milwaukee ratchet, the non-fuel. I bought the non-fuel over the fuel because the head is actually smaller on a non-fuel, and the warranty is the same. Uh, the brushless motor, oh, it could wear out. Well, brushes are like 10 bucks, so I'm not too worried about that. Really nice tool, I really like using it. Um, got the charger, some spare stuff kicking around back there, the tablet, whatever. Uh, I also have the 3 8 stubby impact, this is awesome. This is what I use those for. Uh, those are 3 8 sockets. I don't really use a half inch socket, half inch gun, or half inch sockets on a day to day basis. Uh, I got a 17 mile wrench, that's for all the oil drain plugs. You got the half inch, you got 3 8 ratchet. This is a snap-on flex head. I have it taped up because I bought the uh, I bought the locking flex head, and I don't really like it. It won't stay off to the side, so I just taped it out of the way. I don't use the locking mechanism very much. I would have been just fine with this ratchet if it was just a regular flex head with a quick release. I really like the quick release. Uh, I got a 10 mil socket. I got this 90 degree pick. This is a Mastercraft from Canadian Tire. The Mastercraft picks really nice uh, at any price. They're stronger than the snap-on picks, I would say. Uh, I also got this oil filter wrench, this is from Lyle, works really well. Um, there's a whole ton of other stuff, I was just changing out a screen on a phone. This is my coast light, it works really good. Turns on, it's bright, stuff like that. Got some glasses, got some gloves, other stuff. Let's get to the top drawer. This is the big top drawer. Uh, I try to keep everything up here that I would use in a typical day doing a typical job. Um, so I've got... Uh, Extensions and stuff back here. These are locking extensions for gear wrench, uh, but the Canadian Tire sells these too And you can buy them for not too much money. They're pretty good. Uh, they work well lifetime warranty stuff like that I got this oil filter wrench which I bought from Blue Point and I shouldn't have I should have bought the same oil filter wrench from someone else and not paid as much money I've got these. This is a trade that had uh, 3 8 deep impact sockets from Snap-on and I only used so many because I work at a Honda dealer uh, so I put some torx bits in there. Uh, these ones actually I've modified. I took out the original uh, Canadian Tire bit and I bought the snap-on bits and then just put them in there. So I saved myself some money and only got the ones that I really used. Um, then I got 3 8 impact sockets. Um, well, impact and chrome sockets are mixed and set. Um, the mid-deeps are gray pneumatic. They're pretty inexpensive and they're really nice quality. The other ones are sort of a mis mis mishmash of this and that. Um, I've also got uh, a set ish of 3 8 shallow 12 point snap on impact sockets which are nice they work well um, got a 10 mil swivel there that's for gear wrench i got this 10 mil quarter inch um, magnetic socket which is part of this set uh, which goes from like four or five to 15 it's a really nice set for only like 50 bucks uh, quarter inch magnetic sockets uh, they're impact rated too but I, I don't know why you would put an impact tool on a quarter inch Anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, I got other stuff down here. It's a wheel hanger for my BMW um, valve core tool because you can buy a quarter inch sized valve core bit from Snap-on, which I did. Other extensions, stuff like that. I really like these, the, the shorter extensions. You got them in three eighths, got them in quarter. Swivel sockets, stuff like that, a magnet. Uh, I got 36 and 32 mil for axle nuts down here. I've got the crank bolt socket, uh, especially good on V6s or you know, tiny belts, stuff like that. That's from Lyle. Um, some swivel sockets, impact swivel sockets. These are the turbo sockets, and these are all just in the turbo socket case. I just have this side open. It's all just one case. Um, got some other. These are the these are those uh, deep snap-on impacts I was talking about. There's a 14 and a 12, uh, 14 mil uh, long flank drive plus uh, wrench. I use that for inner tie rods and alignments. 14 mil open end ratcheting wrench. So that end, the ratchets. I use that for alignments, but it's only really good on brand new stuff because anytime you get rust and corrosion stuff like that in there, it all seizes up and this just doesn't, you don't have enough leverage for it. This is for alignments as well. 24 mil, 15, 16, it's the same size. Uh, quarter inch sockets, uh, shallow, mid deep, and deep. And the deeps and the shallows are maximum Canadian tire, which aren't great because of the drive style. They're they got like an eight point system and sometimes it's difficult to actually push the socket or the extension onto it and they slip and slide around. They're a little bit loose on these extensions to snap on um, wobble pluses. 
Uh, but other than that, they're all right. They don't round out or anything like that. Um, extensions, stuff like that. I've got the uh, the long Steelman Pro uh, half inch to three eighths swivel extension. It's really nice. It works really well. I like it a lot. Um, so other ratchets. This ratchet is awesome. You can buy this at Princess Auto. It's a power fist quarter inch drive. Really good for getting into small spaces. It's really small and fine. This snap on ratchet is my favorite ratchet though. I love using it, uh, especially because you can sort of come up on a fastener like this and then just twist with your fingers the ratchet something into place enough to reach for a screwdriver or something like that. These extensions are good. I got them cheap. I wouldn't buy a painful price for them. I got uh, other things here. I got a long box end 19 mil that I use for serpentine belts. Uh, 17 mil is also applicable uh, for serpentine belts on Hondas. This is a 3.8 snap-on ratchet. It's a long one. Works really nice. Got a deal on it. Half inch from the Sato one. Works pretty much just as nice. <laughs> um, it's except this one is about a fifth of the cost of this one. And this one was on sale. And this is a fifth of the cost. So really, I mean, if you if you don't want to shell out the cash, go to Princess Auto and get yourself a half and a 3 8 drive out of the Princess Auto one. Really nice. Uh, I got half inch sockets over here, 17 and 19 in shallow, mid, deep, and deep. And then a 22 mil, and then my half inch, one of my half inch impact guns, which works really nice. I really like it. It's the mid torque. Pliers down here, vice grips, and the Nipex, the pliers wrenches, and the Cobra pliers in a larger size. I use those more at home than I do around the shop, um, but they're really nice to have, especially again, around at home more so than around the shop, because you really know what you're doing, whereas those can do so many different sizes. Uh, more of them, I've got these, which are the Honda factory tools. These are actually a shop tool. Uh, we all have a set, though, in the shop uh, that you can use for getting those push pin clips out. Snap-on pliers, uh, the needle nose are awesome. The adjustables are awesome. The cutters are good. I'm not sure they're worth the extra money. And the, um, well, the smaller version of these pliers, uh, I have no idea why people buy the snap-on ones. The, the channel locks are the same, and I don't know why people buy the large snap-on versions of this. The channel locks are the same. Just get the channel locks. I don't even use them, honestly. The only thing I was using them for was really tight uh, oil drain caps, and I just I just use this now instead. So, anyways, oil fill caps, sorry, not oil drain caps. Uh, I got my trim tools down here. I got this Lyle tool, and I got this nice set of plastic tools. They're a pain tire, they're a Dorman tool actually, and they work great. They're really nice and soft and supple, but they're also not weak. And they don't feel like they're gonna snap on you, which is what you don't want in a trim tool. You don't want one that's gonna feel like it's gonna snap. Got my mask for doing brake work, stuff like that. And that sort of concludes the top drawer. Move on to the second drawer. Now I have this drawer set up uh, so that I can access the things that I use most without pulling it out all the way, because why would I want to pull it out all the way? So I got my Milwaukee. Uh, quarter inch electric grinder, which works really well. I don't use, do a whole ton of grinding stuff. I don't have a good air compressor at home, so instead of buying an expensive air compressor, uh, because I have electric everything else, I just bought this when it came out. And I really like using it. It's got the LED on it, works really nice. It's not got a whole ton of power, but it's got enough for what I'm doing. Again, I don't do a whole ton of grinding. Uh, I got the, all the accessories for it, you know, wire wheels, roll lock stuff. Uh, these brushes are really good for cleaning up caliper saddles. This is the same sort of thing, just a little bit thicker. Cut off wheels, stuff like that, uh, blow gun, whatever. Uh, this is the retainer for uh, Big Nasty, which you'll see in a second, uh, because it's garbage and bits just fly out anyway, so why spend all the time putting a retainer on if they're gonna fly out and then they go off anyways. Uh, I got these two snap-on hammers. This is a 1632, as big as I ever need, and they're really nice, I love using them. Uh, some random Princess Auto punches, which I go for first before anything else. I've got this. Phillips 3 striking cap, which I use for brake rotor set screws. And because there's a because there's a hex here, I'll put a wrench on it to take them out. I've got Milwaukee pry bar set. It's really nice. I've also got this for cleaning out uh, steel wheels, cleaning out around the valve stems when they're and stuff like that. Uh, but I really use, uh, I really enjoy using these. They work really well and they're really cheap. They got a striking cap on the end as well. I've used them a lot. Uh, they're quite nice. Also, you can see the rest of the punch set that's down here is hidden away in those little gaps there. I got this Mastercraft um, set of drill bits. They work all right. I got some eBay uh, carbide burr set. Works really good. I got the Milwaukee drill. Works nice. Got another one of those bits. Um, so again, if I'm down here, now I can access a whole ton more stuff with the drawer partially open. And then if I open it all the way, 
get the other stuff that I need, you know, files, um, stainless steel brushes, this magnet light. This is a Mayhew Pro set of punches and chisels. They're quite nice. I just don't use them all that much. I'm not sure if I regret buying them or not. I like having a better set than these Princess Auto ones, but I just, again, I don't use them all that much, which is why they're at the back. Uh, I got the gray pneumatic um, impact bits for the for Big Nasty. It's known the Astro pneumatic uh, impact gun. The larger shanks, so you need these bits. My only gripe with them is something that um, I watched a video actually the Flat Rate Master made a video about which air hammer you should buy, and he made a good point about this not being an end-all solution, which it's not. You, you can only do so much with this stuff. Um, we don't use a whole ton of air hammer stuff, but I am sort of looking at getting something else as well. Uh, step drill bits which are great to have and I got one down there that I use quite a bit and then I use this one for uh, tire repairs but that's why that stuff's at the back we just don't use it a whole ton you know doing bearings stuff like that that's about it that's all for that drawer this is the screwdrivers uh, all of these are snap on again these picks are better than these picks I also have this one seal removal tool which is nice uh, I got the long picks which I think are worth having torx bits screwdrivers which are good to have the mini screwdrivers, which, you know, nice to have a good quality set. These as well. Um, this screwdriver is a Phillips 2, a longer one than this, and it's got a magnetic tip, which I like to have. Uh, so I keep that in the spot where that one would normally be, and I've never used that one ever, and I'm not sure I ever will. Um, I also got, uh, you know, the this, this stubby ones, which are nice. Again, mainly for the Phillips stuff. Um, I'm looking to buy some JIS number, JIS screwdrivers, uh, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure I'll really need them. Oh yeah, and I got this Titan bit set, which is great. A ratcheting, ratcheting screwdriver. Again, this is the wrench drawer. I got a whole ton of wrenches, way more than I need. I mean, you get there's literally just a pile of them back there. Um, so most of the time, most of the time, I only open the drawer this far because that's all that I really need to get to in that drawer. This is pliers. These are post pliers, long reach pliers, stuff like this. Stuff I don't grab for very often, so I have it down there, and it's just this stuff's out of the way. But it's all in a drawer now. Got the hose, hose pick, stuff like that. Uh, one thing to mention with the uh, wrench drawers that I have a lot of weird wrenches. I mean, I have you know S wrenches and, and crow's feet, and, and these offset wrenches, and more offset wrenches, and yeah, I, I got a lot of wrenches. Most of them that I don't need. The uh, touch on that one more time these flex heads are really nice the flex head uh, gear wrench ratchet wrench is very nice I like using them. all right enough of that we were right in there this is socket drawers uh, I don't use many of these sockets if ever. I mean I've used this one once in a set this is a half inch swivel set I've used that one once I've used that one once and that's it I didn't use any of the other ones um, some of the stuff I'll use for my own car like I'll use this stuff for my BMW um, these are again more more wrenches all sitting in there that uh, don't get used very often. I got the big uh, Milwaukee impact gun. Works really great. Don't have a huge use for it here. Use it more at home. Think at home. If I'm doing uh, lousy jobs, stuff like that. Ear protection, rubber mallet. Use rubber mallet for interior work. Oh yeah, one more thing. This, this is a 17 mil line wrench socket. I got it online and uh, it's really good. Well, I needed it for the BMW for cracking fuel lines to fuel uh, to diesel and uh, it can be handy in uh, automotive stuff too uh, even around with Hondas I've used it a couple of times it's been helpful there's nothing in this drawer it's just garbage zip ties trays papers and uh, you know whatever that is it's just random garbage in there this is the drawer where I keep my phone extra bolts lug nuts fuses random crap like that extra door opener mirror don't use the mirror very often. I'm not sure when you would use a mirror. I just don't use it very often. I think more. I think other people have borrowed that mirror more than I've used that mirror. Um, uh, this is rethreading. Uh, I've got this set. Well, it's not really a set. It's actually a mishmash of two sets because uh, it comes with SAE and metric. I just took all the SAE stuff out and it's only metric in here. Uh, I've also got these tap sockets, which are awesome for getting into lousy spots. I've also got this one inch socket, which fits over which these dies fit into. I can grab one real quick. So I can thread on with a ratchet or, you know, sometimes with an impact tool because, you know, yeah, use an impact tool on a die, see what happens. Um, 
Yeah, don't don't see what happens. Actually, it, it would go as poorly. Uh, I also got this uh, Rainy Caliper, and I got an all metal one with no digital gauge because I hate the digital gauges because the batteries run out and you can't see anything. And it's not very precise. And this one just works. I paid extra for that. It's cheaper to buy a digital one. I had to pay like sixteen dollars to get this one. I didn't want the digital one. I got extra, you know, more rethreading stuff in there. There's a measuring tape in that drawer too. This is electrical stuff. Um, I've got uh, that's a test light. That's a Lyle one. You can buy the same thing from Snap-on, or you can buy the Lyle one. This one was fifty dollars, or I was less than that. It's like thirty-five dollars. The Snap-on one's like a hundred bucks. The like test leads from Lang. More test leads. Those are from Lyle. This is a stethoscope from Lyle. This is some other general stuff that doesn't get used a whole ton because I work in a dealer. And these are kits. Uh, I got those. It's an excellent socket set at the back. This is a Dremel kit. I'm not sure if I'll ever use it. It's like the smaller one, the eighth. Call it. This is a caliper uh, return tool kit that uh, bought off of Amazon. I'm cheap. It does right and left-handed thread. Works really nice. I like it. This is a Lang Tools uh, snap ring plier set, which works really nice. This is a torque wrench that I bought Amazon, a 3 8 one, 10 to 80 foot-pounds, which is sort of the range where 3 8 usually stops and half-inch doesn't really begin yet, so I like having that around. Although, do I use it? I use it on bearings, however often we do those. Bolt-in bearings, I use it for that. Uh, I got a fender liner that I don't really use, spray paint, stuff like that. All sorts of other random crap. Hey guys, I realized I uh, forgot to mention a couple of things actually see them in a couple of shots but uh, this is one of this is my snap on uh, 700 lumen light something like that anyways the part numbers right there on it I don't know if you can see that or not hope you can anyways this thing's bright I got uh, I got an LED light on right now turn it off it's adjustable this is my plug-in light which is I don't know how many lumens but the switch back and forth. This one's obviously brighter, but this one's battery powered and mobile and stuff like that. This thing's really nice. I really enjoy having it. And uh, it's made of aluminum. You can get the ones that are, uh, you can't like move this thing down. Obviously you can see there's interference there. So you can get ones that are slimmer. Uh, I'm not sure I would. This thing's really robust. I actually, at one point in time, I had it inside um, a suspension. I was doing an alignment or was adjusting a strut or something like that on the alignment rack and I forgot I left it in some suspension and it actually it was on like the it was on like the backside of a caliper. Anyways I ended up turning the suspension and not thinking about the fact that the suspension that the turning the steering wheel was super stiff and I ended up actually pressing the caliper piston back in with this light and it still held up well. You can actually see there's a bit of damage at the bottom down there from it but I mean it it still works perfectly fine I actually broke the plastic down there you can see that um, the fact that it actually held up to that uh, I think it's pretty good testament to the quality of this thing it's like 90 bucks um, you know if you have a different tool truck maybe you don't want to go for the snap-on one which is understandable I don't have another tool truck this is the only tool truck that comes around I've got this I got Canadian Tire and Princess Auto is an hour and a half away so I went with this. I don't really regret it. It's a really nice tool. Um, I also have these uh, Tecton 3/8 impact sockets. They come as a set. Uh, the nine isn't the nine inch isn't with me. These are the 3/8 versions with the pin detent. Snap-on sells impact extensions as well, but they have a friction ring. And uh, one of my coworkers actually has the friction ring ones, and he doesn't really like them. Uh, he really prefers like the ball detent. And these have held up really well. They're cheap. They're like $13 for the set of three, which is insanely inexpensive um, you know just for extensions in general for a set of three and they're really nice uh, I don't know if you can see that too well but they haven't mushroomed out very badly they're still in pretty good shape um, you know they're impact extensions and they work as they should the balls hold nicely but not too firm so these are really good and they're $13 how can you go wrong for 13 bucks and the other thing I got is the Milwaukee Underhood Light. This thing is awesome. I got a couple of pictures uh, showing sort of just how bright it is. I think it's like 1400 lumens or something like that. Uh, it runs the same M12 batteries if you've already got M12 stuff. 
uh, your batteries just slide right into it. It's great. It lasts long enough if you put it on the charger at lunchtime uh, for an eight hour day if you're running it on low. If you're running it on high, it doesn't last quite so long, but the amount of situations that you should need it on high, uh, pretty low. Uh, and what I really enjoy about this one is that this light piece is detachable from the uh, underhood frame. So it just snaps out of its place and then it's completely separate. You got these two pieces here um, and uh, that can be really helpful. I've even used it at home because you can, I don't know if you can tell here, the crappy camera angle, but you can actually stand it up, turn it on, works really nicely. And it's also on the top here, it's also got this hook built into it. Uh, so for hanging it off of stuff, uh, just a really well designed tool. And as I said, it's really bright. I'll try and give you guys a demonstration here. Um, and it's a soft uh, white as well. I know uh, sometimes that, you know, oh, whatever, soft white. No, it does make a difference and I enjoy it. So that's just the underhood light now. And it's, it's, it's a really wide, I'll see if I can show you here. It gets, you know, as I twist it, right, that's pointing up at you. And you can see how wide, how wide it, the light comes out of it at, which is really nice. Um, I've even used it just laying across a work area because you can fit it into awkward spots because you don't have to have, like this one, you don't have to have a magnetic base, whereas this one you do. Uh, you can just sort of wedge this in somewhere because the light you know, extends for such a long area. Uh, it's really helpful at times. So I'll see if I can give you guys another sort of back and forth between these two. I mean, you're not lacking for light. That's for sure. It's really, really nice to have. I really enjoy this tool. Um, so yeah, that about sums it up. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I know I hate to, you know, sort of pull uh, pull into a different setting and, you know, it's not the audio is different, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, my work is completely shut down with the whole uh, COVID-19 thing. And as well, I just don't get many opportunities to film in there. So, you know, I'm trying to update the toolbox tour, or do a second take or whatever is just not realistic at this time. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it.